Hello, welcome to Global Ads Non-Formal Learning and International Education course. I'm your facilitator for this asynchronous six-week course. My name is Dalnaza Hasilova, and I'm a permanent visiting scholar and the founder of the World Language and Culture Program that is known as the Non-Formal Language Learning Program here at the University of Wyoming. I'm actively involved with NAFSA Association of International Educators and a little bit about myself. I lived and worked in different countries, including Central Asia, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Russia, Germany, and the US. I have been for 12 years in higher education and four years in international education field formally, but I have been involved with international projects and organization for the past 18 years. Please feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn or you can email me with any questions you may have about the course. In this introductory video, I would like to set some expectations and talk about brief overview of the course, including requirements, platforms, and assignments that we will be doing while participating in this course. You will also be using different resources so that you're engaging in the course. This is asynchronous self-paced course. Uh, meaning that you can access it any time of the day during those weeks. No prior knowledge is required. We will be learning together about non-formal learning. In order to finish this course successfully, you will need to access four modules that includes approximately 12 hours of lessons, activities, assignments, two on-demand video lectures, one task on Padlet, I'll show you how to access it at the end of this video. One graded reflection, one graded final project in any format, for example, paper, blog, podcast, video, platform, and it should be up to 300 or 500 words that will be assessed as part of the knowledge check. The purpose of this course on non-formal learning is to provide you with an introductory overview of the ways of learning, such as formal, informal, and non-formal learning through articles, case studies, interactive short blogs, podcasts, and videos. You will also be able to access examples and see the practice of non-formal learning and its limitations and benefits. This course includes, as I mentioned before, four modules two on-demand video lectures and task guidance, couple of optional tasks, one task on review of a non-formal learning case study using SWOT analysis, one graded final project, review of articles to define and describe the notion of non-formal learning through a matrix template. Matrix is a document with columns where you can just j jot down um, ideas, information, synthesis from readings, optional participation in the Google Jamboard to reflect on the case studies. And I'll show you again how to access Google Jamboard at the end of this video. Facilitator guidance and support, participation in the Padlet platform to connect, ask questions, or exchange ideas. Lifetime access and digital badge, in non-formal learning international education that you can upload to your LinkedIn or you can add it to your resume. This course is designed for anyone um, who is desire to develop non-formal learning programs, anyone in a career that requires development of programs. Um, if you are a scholar or practitioner, early career professional, researcher, newly appointed staff or faculty, postdoctoral fellow, administrator in higher education, you may find this course helpful. And although I didn't talk about specific research methods, you can explore this topic while reviewing current literature or maybe even you want to conduct research studies because there are not many studies on non-formal learning. Now, we will use a couple of online interactive platforms in this course, as I mentioned before. One of them is Padlet and Google Jamboard to engage, to engage with each other and learn from colleagues. So these platforms can be kept private or shared with a specific group, like I'm sharing with you all. So speaking about Padlet, let me show you the website.
So when you access the Padlet, you will log in with your email and you can read the notes about how to add or edit or delete a post. And here on the corner, down here, you will see add post button. When you click on it, you can write down your name since I'm asking you to provide your um, introductions. For example, what you do, your name, and maybe uh, lessons you learned from your trip abroad. You could write down and then when I ask you to define the notion of non-formal learning, you can come back and then again um, type on your post. Padlet is a digital board in which you can create, as you can see here, one or multiple walls that are able to house all of the posts you can share. Um, it creates a space for participants in education to share ideas. For example, you could use media, including pictures, um, images, videos, and links. You can use Padlet to take notes if you're tired of using Microsoft Word and collaborate on a project as well. The second platform that I want to show you is a Jamboard. Jamboard is a digital whiteboard for interactions, as you can see here. You can find directions on how to use it on the syllabus under week one. There are several cases you can read, and I also provided some examples here. You will have to read and then click on here where it says sticky note and write down your responses to a specific case. I hope you will find it engaging and we will all comment and then see our ideas or uh, specific responses as well. And now I would like to focus on our syllabus. You will be able to You will be able to uh, access your syllabus and download it. And I talked a lot about course requirements, course length, right? Um, certification and what in this course includes specific, you know, modules and then um, tasks. We talked about it. And then also specifically, you will see what you will be learning and the outcomes of the course and then instructional procedures required readings and some readings that I recommend, but they're not required like books here. And then as you can see, you will be given five points to Padlet activity discussions. And then final project is the highest point, 90 points. And then self-reflection is five points as well. You can see your schedule for each week. I provided readings and assigned uh, videos activities, specific references, feel free to access and read them. And then you will be able to po pause questions or contact me if you have any other questions as well. Thank you so much. And I look forward to working with you. Have a wonderful week.